So, you and Katie have been arguing? Yeah, but, you know, like couples do. They'd taken a lot on. It was very stressful. Are you here to arrest me? What makes you say that? Sorry, this is wrong. You can see that he's in shock. So either we all go to the station now together and answer your questions as a family... I didn't realise you had anything to offer up. Well, I argued with Katie. Robert argued with Katie. So did my dad and, and Diane did and... Well, what about you, Victoria? She was really stressed. So either we all come with you now or you come back tomorrow. You can see that Andy has had enough. I'm gonna go make up your bed, OK? Barely speak to her. I was. Oh, she was just. You know, the poor girl's lost it. She's full of drugs. Yeah, well, I should be able to cope with that. What are you really angry about? I am angry with you because you said you'd go over to Debbie's. I, I looked through the and window. And you didn't. Sarah was crying, Mum. I didn't know what to say. Well, then why did you say you'd go? I could have gone, and it might have been some use. Well, go now. I can't. I'm drunk. And why is Andy not here with Diane? Hmm? And why have they got to go schlepping up there just because Robert commands oh, it? Stop. No, I can't. Because why does he get to be so brilliant when she hated him so much? I hate him. It's not his fault. I never said it was. I just said I hate him. Mind you, while we're on it, if he'd never have come back... Mum, it's not his fault. She wouldn't have hurt a fly. <laughs> Baby, please. 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 I ain't seen you either. Please, don't cry. <laughs> I need your strong son. Come on, I need your help. <laughs> Chrissy was great, but I can see where this is going. It was an accident. I was angry with her this morning. Really angry. Andy, she was so worked up all yeah, the time. Not like I get worked up. And the police will know all that. They'll know about the anger management, about me and about Joe. <laughs> hey, Andy. Andy, listen to me. You were here. You were here at the wedding with us. You, you were nowhere near the farm when she died. And they were able to tell that from her body. God, they'll have to do a post mortem. Sam saw her this morning, riding up there ages ago. She could have been dead for hours before you got there, and they'll be able to prove it. You're a good bloke, Andy. You've done nothing wrong. I left her a message saying, saying that I was sorry and that I loved her. What if she didn't listen to it? What if she was there dying, thinking that she wasn't loved? 